<laughs> we just got in from the first night of the Israelite remarriage weekend at our church. Mm -hmm. And we learned everything all about marriage. Fantastic. Okay, this weekend was our remarriage celebration, but a lot of the things that we did were the normal things that we always do, which is our worship service when we come together and a lesson that was taught. But the focal points were about marriage and divorce. It allowed people to get a firsthand experience, knowledge and understanding on what it really means to have this type of relationship. Okay, let's do it. Shabbat Shalom Mishpaka. Uh, we're going to do this Tapala show in Yahawashai, and then we have a special live performance from Miss Scripture. She has a theme song for us tonight. She's going to be performing that live here tonight. Then we're going to get into the message. You guys ready? Abanawa Shabbat Shalom. Kodash Kaya Shamka Yahawa. Malak wafka thaba ratazaka Haya aisha ba'a ratazaka wa Haya ba shamayam Nadam lamawa Lacham kol yawam Wasalak nawa Kawab waf nawa Kasalak nawa Kawab waf yanawa Walaa thaba yaha nawa Banasawan abal Hawashai Nawa, Mayan Rai, Kaya Laka, Hamalakwaf, Waha Allah, Wahaf Apa, Araf, Lawalamyam, Aman. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. About a year before we even planned to do the remarriage celebration, Miss Scripture had written a, a love song, which is a little bit different for a hip-hop artist. And we recorded the song and shot the video right here in our house, not knowing what we would ever do with this song. Yah just gave the song to her and she recorded it. But then when the celebration came around, she was like, hey, I have the perfect song for this event. Yeah, it was the perfect song for this whole event. It's like your how was you developed to find the olive leaf. Yeah, I sent you out and what you searching for, you found in me. Bone up your bones, flesh up your flesh. It's my forever, baby. That's my forever love. Let's make you do forever love. The ribs design inside the body protects the vital parts. I'm on my job, I'll cover you and I'll protect your heart. Proverbs 31 and 10, even 11, 12. Because I trust you and it's safe inside your heart to dwell. I call your name, ain't got no shame, cause this is how I feel. You love me like Christ loves the church, don't have to pray, it's real. You've been my writer and provider, been my friend too. Loving you was easy, I thank the Lord for what I have in you. You guys ready to get into it? Yeah. All right, go ahead and show them what we're talking about tonight. So tonight is the first night we are talking about biblical marriage. Tomorrow we will be talking about biblical divorce. Hopefully nobody here is going to be going from here to there. But there have been a lot of questions about what it means to be biblically married and biblically divorced. Biblical marriage is going to be talking about who? That's between a man and a woman. What? They're going to make a covenant with Yahweh and consummate it. The when is when they are old enough to reproduce and take care of children. Where? It's in the marriage chamber alone. Somebody say alone. 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 Like, why? Because he needs help and because they love each other. And how? It has to happen as Christ loves the church physically, mentally, and spiritually. 
This is just a short clip from the message, but the whole teaching on what it means to be biblically married is located on our Prophecy Ministries YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description down below. And Yahweh Allah caused the deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Where did Eve come from? She came from a rib. What is a rib designed to do? It protects two things. Your rib cage protects your lung and it protects your heart. What goes into your lung? Breath. And what is the breath called? Spirit. So that woman is designed to protect the spirit. But she's also designed to guard your heart. That's why she was... He could have took her from the finger. He could have been like, Adam, let me get that little toe right there. He took her, he took her from the rib. Because a woman is designed to protect your spirit and to protect your heart. The first night was great. Being able to see all of the couples come out just so that they could learn what does it look like to have a biblical marriage. It was amazing. Yeah. Now they're making a sandwich. Now it's sandwich time and I'm grateful because I'm hungry. <laughs> I wake up in the mornings and I write the message in the morning so can't stay up super late tonight because I have to wake up and write the message for tomorrow's service in the morning and then we have the Sabbath hangout it's a night. long day very long day it's gonna be exciting and wonderful but it is a long day is that mayo smidgen don't complain it's made like that every single time I guess I, I don't be knowing you don't know I just eat it you don't know. She put now mayo you know. on my sandwich, though. Show them a slide. Last night we talked about what? Marriage. Biblical marriage. Look, they look fresh up there. They fresh. They new. Go ahead and show them what we're talking about today. They not so fresh anymore. <laughs> Why are they yelling at each other like that? <laughs> Today we are talking about biblical divorce. Now, there are exactly three reasons in the scriptures why someone can get divorced. Because she has too many shoes. No, I'm just playing. That's not one of them. I just made that up. Okay, I just made that up. Go ahead and show them a slide. Let me show you. There are three reasons in the scriptures, and we're going to cover all three. The first one is adultery. The other one is they're of another nation, and it's an unlawful marriage to begin with. The third one is the unbelieving person departs. Again, this is just a short clip from the second day of the remarriage celebration here. This message is all about biblical divorce. And if you want to see this whole message, there will be a link to view it down in the description below. We also did baptisms that same weekend. And many of those who came out for the remarriage ceremony were also able to get baptized at the same time, which is a beautiful and unique experience. Yeah, it's very unique for a couple to both have the opportunity to get lawfully married according to the scriptures and to get baptized together at the same time. That's, a, that's like a once in a lifetime experience. talk to him <laughs> okay so we have made it to the church and we are about to walk into the event 
which is the remarried uh, event or celebration. Everything looks gorgeous. I can't wait to show you all the things that um, are set up. Let's take a look. Yeah. Hi, you guys. Getting some very well. Y'all ready? Yep. Awesome. Petra, how beautiful you look. You get in the picture too. You're gorgeous. You get in the picture too. Come on. It's a picture? It's a video. You said picture. Ah, it's the same thing. I could crop it as a picture later. Okay, so now this is what we are going to do. Uh, I know that we have um, a lot of couples here that are getting remarried, actually married for the first time. We do have a couple that just got married for the first time. Go ahead and show them this slide and bring the beat down just a touch. We learned in the book of Tobit is where the, medic, the wedding prayer is located. So we are going to demonstrate for you how this thing is done. Uh, Pastor Greg and his beautiful wife Mimi are going to come up and they're going to demonstrate how this is done. And if you would like to come up with your wife, the man is going to say the prayer. You can read it right off the screen. If that's too far, you stand here and you read it right off of the screen there. At the end of the prayer, the woman says, Amen. And then you are Law lawfully married. Amen. Pastor Greg and Sister Mimi, will you be coming up? Hallelujah. Blessed art thou, O Yah of our fathers, and blessed is thy holy and glorious name forever. Let the heavens bless thee and all thy creatures. Thou madest Adam and gavest him Eve, his wife, for an helper and stay. Of them came mankind. Thou hast said, it is not good that man should be alone. Let us make unto him an aid like unto himself. And now, O Yahweh, I take not this my sister for lust, but uprightly. Therefore mercifully ordain that we may become aged together. 
together. together. Amen. All right, I believe that is the last couple. Is there anybody else? Nobody else, okay. Uh, so over the last couple of weeks, a lot of people have been asking me and Katrina. Let me go ahead and bring Katrina up to the stage. <laughs> they have been asking Katrina and I if we were getting married today, and the answer is no. We are not getting married today, but we are making a special announcement. Go ahead and show them a slide. We will be getting married December 14th, 2024. <laughs> That's a surprise. I know it's a surprise. Are you going to put it on? No, I'll put it on. Okay, you put it on. What are you going to do? Yes, yes. So uh, we want to invite all of you to our wedding, which is going to be here at the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Guess who we are?